Hello and welcome back. Today's tutorial is to help Key Stage 1 children develop their comprehension skills when reading. Comprehension is the understanding of what we have read, the who, what, where, why and when in a text. Today's story is the hairy fairy, aimed at younger children. Hairy fairy. I'm a fairy. I am honest. I've got all the right things. I've got a pink frilly dress, a pair of sparkly boots, a sack of fairy dust, a pair of gold wings, and a magic wand to whisk in the air. But, and it's a big but, I'm hairy, very hairy indeed. It's just so unfair. Well, you can have a hairy dog, or a hairy horse, or a hairy gorilla, but a hairy fairy? Do I don't think so. Or I didn't think so, until the fairy queen sent me to. Let's begin at the beginning. I started off as a tooth fairy, you know. When a child has lost a tooth, he puts it under his pillow at night. The tooth fairy creeps upstairs, nips into his bedroom and swaps the tooth for money. It was a good job, that. But the fairy queen said I might frighten the children, so I got the sack. I was a Christmas tree fairy next. I was sent to live with Mr and Mrs Blair. They got a big Christmas tree and tied tinsel and glass balls onto the branches. They put the fairy lights on too. And they stuck me on the top. But Mrs Blair said that the hairy fairy looked all wrong. So that was the end of that. Then the fairy queen sent me to the hairdresser. He looked at me in an odd way. Hadn't he seen a hairy fairy before? But he started to sniff. I sat in that hairdresser's chair all day. There was hair on the floor, hair in my lap, hair on the chair. Things went all right for a week or so, but then the hair started to grow back thicker than before. The fairy queen was in despair. She didn't know what to do with me. Then she had a postcard from Father Christmas. He lives in the far north, as you know. And he couldn't get any fairies to help him with the presents, as most of them can't stand the snow and the frost. But that's not a problem for the hairy fairy. We hairy fairies don't feel the cold at all. I spend my days wrapping presents, and FC pays me very well for it. In fact, I'm almost a millionaire. Not bad for a hairy fairy. To test your child's understanding of the story, you can ask them questions. You could ask them to find information, retell the story in their own words, or tell you the meaning of certain words. You can ask questions such as, what does the fairy wear? Ask your child to find this information and show you. The hairy fairy wears a pink frilly dress and a pair of sparkly boots. Why did the fairy get the sack from his job? Because the fairy queen said that he might frighten the children. You can also challenge children to infer how characters might be feeling. How did the hairy fairy feel when his hair started to grow back? He might have been feeling sad or annoyed because it was hard for a hairy fairy to find a job. You can ask children the meaning of new words or phrases. Such as despair meaning no ideas or no hope. Also, when you can't stand something, meaning you dislike it.